Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Going to go over the medication levofloxacin with you today. The topics that uh, we're going to cover in this video include what is levofloxacin, the common uses, the regular dosage of this medication, uh, potential side effects, uh, some of the warnings, as well as the interactions that uh, one watches for when they're using this medication. As with all my videos, this is uh, informational purposes only, not intended to serve as a substitute for your healthcare provider. So what is levofloxacin? It is an antibiotic. It's in a class of antibiotics known as fluoroquinolones, or sometimes just called quinolone antibiotics. In the U.S., it's sold under the brand name Levoquin. Um, there is a U.S. or an FDA safety alert about uh, aortic rupture risk with this class of medications. We will get into that uh, a little more as the video progresses. So common uses include, well, anthrax and plague, so those are not very common, but it is used for those. Um, when there were the anthrax scares, you may have heard of these medications. Um, another one in the family called Cipro was in the news a lot. But this can be used for that. Uh, those are not very common conditions. Uh, what we probably see it used for most is like pneumonia, COPD, exacerbations, um, prostatitis, and uh, certain skin infections. And it can be used for many, many other uh, potential infections, kind of up to your healthcare provider. Depends on if we've tried anything yet, the potential um, bacteria causing the infection, all those things go into determining whether this is the appropriate medication for your infection. Uh, common dosage, as far as outpatient pharmacy, you're talking 500 to 750 milligram tablet. Typically, there's also a 250 milligram tablet. Um, and then depending on the infection, like for a UTI or a urinary tract infection, maybe a three-day course, something more severe, 14 um uh like prostatitis it could be taken for up to six weeks um you know other infections it, it just depends on the infection um and the risk involved as to how many days uh, the tablets can be taken with or without food you want to avoid antacids two hours before or after antacids being things like tums and so food is fine but large amounts of dairy is discouraged because of the calcium in the dairy um, it just reduces the absorption of levofloxacin the same issue with the antacids. So most common side effects are going to be headache, rash, itchiness, um, nausea, diarrhea, muscle and body aches, and sensitivity to light can occur. Usually, you know, not too bad. Most people are able to tolerate the medicine pretty well. Uh, some of the rare and serious things, severe rash, that we see that listed with many medications, but if you have a really bad reaction, you can have a full body rash that can be fairly severe. Problems uh, with blood issues, labs can help identify some of these. Um, the longer we're on this, the more we'd have to worry about that. It can sometimes affect uh, heart and cardiac issues, uh, heart rhythm issues. So if you already have things like that, that, that will probably be monitored. Uh, Rare liver issues can occur, and glucose. It can affect uh, blood sugar regulation, again, on the rare side, but it can occur. So some of the warnings um, we need to watch for. Seizure risk, very, very low, but it is there, especially if you're already at risk of seizure problems. Um, that is something that will be monitored. Ten, oh, tendinitis, that's spelled wrong. Tendinitis and uh, tendon rupture can occur with this. Um, that goes back to the aortic rupture. This medicine, this antibiotic, can affect tendons and blood vessels. Um, it seems like it has something to do with the structure, and it can put it at risk of failure um, or you know, breaking or ripping. It's extremely low risk, but the risk is there. Um, so that's why we kind of... This is a stronger antibiotic, and it should be reserved for more serious infections anyway. And because of this risk, that does put it lower down on the list of, list of preferred medications. Again, it's highly variable on the infection that you have as, as well as if, if anything's been tried yet. Uh, it can 
It can um, cause peripheral neuropathy, um, especially in diabetics. That's something that can occur. Can sometimes cause psychiatric reactions, uh, you know, hallucinations, other sort of um, psychotic episodes can occur. Again, this is on the rare side, but these have been shown to occur. Aortic aneurysm, so we're back to that. We have to worry about tendon and blood vessel ruptures. Very rare, but when it does happen, that can be very, very serious. It can exacerbate a condition known as myasthenia gravis. It can cause liver toxicity. And uh, caution with the rheumatoid arthritis, this will go back to the tendon issues. It can sometimes worsen the arthritis. Uh, interactions we want to watch for. Diabetic medications, we were just talking about uh, the potential to affect glucose metabolism. Those antacids we talked about um, that can reduce absorption of the medication. Again, heart rhythm issues, uh, so cardiac folks, um, your heart rhythm and things like that may be monitored closely. Steroids, corticosteroids like uh, prednisone can increase the risk of tendon rupture. These are used together. Um, one just has to be aware that that can increase the risk of those rare but serious side effects. NSAIDs, uh, things like ibuprofen, naproxen, that uh, there's a potential to increase the seizure risk. Again, you will see these used together. Just have to be aware there is a potential. If you're at higher risk of seizure, that may not be a good idea. The medication warfarin uh, with the levofloxacin uh, can increase bleeding risk. Warfarin has a tendency to uh, interact with many antibiotics, and that can increase the bleeding risk. Um, so that would be monitored as well. Appreciate you watching this video. I kind of I hope you appreciate the overview of this medication, levofloxacin. Any questions, go ahead and ask them below in the comments. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like uh, videos like these. Thanks again for watching.